Did you know that talking through how you handled an unanticipated situation or challenge tops the list of one of the most common behavioral job interview questions? And for good reason, we have all likely faced these types of scenarios multiple times in our careers. In this video, I will guide you through the ideal answer, specifically by providing the most critical actions you likely took as an employee to overcome this challenge by focusing in on these three stages of actions, research, planning, and conversations, testing and execution, then launching, presenting, and documenting. Ideally, we are always taking our interviewer through the full journey and highlighting the previously stated concepts because it's critical to uncover all of those items to help our interviewer picture us in the role they're hiring for. Let's dive in. So the question we're going to face today is tell me about an unanticipated challenge you faced. When faced with this challenge, how did you handle it and what were the results? This is an example from my time as a senior software engineer at Tech Innovate, a company specializing in developing innovative cloud solutions for data analytics. The project involved designing a new cloud-based analytics platform intended to handle significantly larger data volumes than our existing solutions. The key challenges were integrating with a variety of data sources, ensuring scalability, and maintaining high performance at the same time. I was tasked with leading this dev for our new analytics platform with a timeline for completing this initial version in six months. So my responsibilities included architecture design, overseeing the dev process, and ensuring the platform met performance benchmarks. We started by embarking on an extensive exploration of cutting edge cloud technology and big data processing frameworks. We reviewed technical documentation, analyzed industry case studies, and engaged in hands-on experiments with several promising technologies with our goal to assess their scalability, performance, and compatibility with our objectives. Next, after identifying the technologies and frameworks that actually met our criteria, we, de we crafted a detailed microservices architecture plan. This phase involved mapping out each of the services responsibilities, designing the data flow between services, and deciding on communication protocols. We conducted a series of planning sessions with the dev team to brainstorm, refine the architecture, and distribute the workload effectively to gain alignment. Then I initiated a series of strategic dialogues with the product management team and other key stakeholder groups to ensure that the development efforts were aligned with the broader business goals and our customer expectations. These conversations were structured to foster open dialogue, encourage feedback, and identify any misalignments or overlooked requirements. Then we dove into the testing phase, emphasizing the importance of reliability and quality, and we integrated a test-driven development methodology from the outset. This comprehensive approach include, included writing out detailed unit and integration tests before any development be began, and then setting up automated testing pipelines and conducting, obviously, regular code reviews. We implemented performance testing routines to simulate real-world usage scenarios, allowing us to identify and address any performance bottlenecks early in the dev cycle. Then we leveraged agile development methodologies while executing the project in iterative sprints, incorporating regular feedback loops with early adopters and our critical stakeholders. Each sprint began with a planning session to define the goals and tasks, followed by intensive development efforts. At the end of each sprint, we conducted sprint reviews and retrospectives to evaluate our progress and identify any areas for improvement. Then the beta launch of the platform was meticulously planned to gather actionable feedback from a controlled group of users. We worked closely with the marketing team to develop comprehensive support materials, including user guides, FAQs, and tutorial videos. And then we also established dedicated feedback channel to facilitate direct communication with these beta users, allowing us to collect insights and identify any issues promptly. Following the beta phase, we conducted an in-depth analysis of user feedback, platform performance, data, and engagement metrics. This analysis was presented to stakeholders in a comprehensive report that highlighted the platform's impact on user workflows, performance improvements, 
and over previous solutions, we were looking at what were those user satisfaction levels. Then we documented those final results. And in the project's final phase, we created this detailed documentation by focusing in on the development process, architectural decisions, and operational guidelines. This included the creation of technical documentation for future developers, operation manuals for the platform's main maintenance team, and a set of best practices for continuous monitoring and optimization. And the results, the results were great by addressing the unanticipated challenge of integrating a broader array of data sources through a flexible and robust microservices architecture, we not only met our initial goals, but we also enhanced the platform's capabilities beyond expectations. Specifically, the platform demonstrated a 50% improvement in data processing speed compared to our previous solutions. This significant performance boost had a direct positive impact on our ability to serve larger clients and strengthen our position in the market. The project's success established a set of best practices and, metho and methodologies within the organization that are now applied across multiple projects, really leaving this innovation and quality and customer focus initiative that could last for a lifetime. So don't listen to the poor advice online that recommends short behavioral answers. To understand you, how you work, and why you'd be a fit for my company, I need to hear about your actions in depth. We never assume or want to assume that our interviewer will ask us follow-up questions, prepare, practice, and then dive into a robust and well-planned out answer to this extremely common behavioral job interview question. I wish you the best of luck.